How you doing, everybody? Today we're going to take a quick look at Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Directed by Akiva Schaefer and starring the voice talents of Andy Samberg and John Mulaney. Many years after the TV show Rescue Rangers went off the air, the former cast members have largely been forgotten by Hollywood. Chip is selling insurance, Dale is doing the convention circuit. Life has not been terribly interesting. But they suddenly find themselves having to play real detectives when their old pal Monterey Jack is kidnapped and they have to save him from a nefarious cartoon bootlegging gang. Boy, was this a weird idea. I... Went into this not really knowing what to expect, and after the first viewing, I thought it was okay. Odd way to cash in on the nostalgia, but it was fine. And afterwards, I saw quite a few comments on the web from people who also thought it was just okay. Uh, didn't really see any from people who hated it, but I did see quite a few from people who absolutely loved it. I saw enough of those comments that I wondered if maybe I missed something. Maybe I just wasn't in the right frame of mind when I watched it. It's been known to happen, and since it wasn't going to cost me anything to watch it again, as it's on Disney+, Plus, I watched it again. Same reaction. It's perfectly fine, but it's not great. And there are a few things that I think keep it from being great. And the first problem is, I just didn't find it all that funny overall. That's not to say it did not have funny moments. It definitely did. The Uncanny Valley stuff was pretty good. Uh, I would not have called Chip being a Lamb of God fan. That was pretty funny. But a lot of the jokes just didn't work all that well. It's not that they were inappropriate for a family film or anything, they just weren't that funny. The stuff they did with ugly Sonic the Hedgehog, I mean, I'm glad they finally were able to get some use out of that model. At least it didn't go to waste. But yeah, that, that just didn't land for me. Second thing that keeps it from being great, I think this movie would have worked a lot better if Chip and Dale actually sounded like Chip and Dale and not like John Mulaney and Andy Samberg. Basically, the premise here is that the high-pitched voices that Chip and Dale used on Rescue Rangers aren't their real, normal speaking voices. And I don't know why they felt the need to do that. And it's not like Corey Burton and Tress McNeil weren't available. They're both in the movie. In fact, Tress is still doing the voice of Gadget. She's the only character from the Rescue Rangers TV show that still has the same voice actor. Even Monterey Jack is voiced by Eric Bana, of all people. Like, why? I mean, he did a decent enough job with the voice, but again, Jim Cummings is in the movie. Obviously, he was available. It's also weird that, according to this movie, Chip and Dale were actually playing characters on Rescue Rangers, and everyone else, Gadget, Zipper, and Monterey Jack, were just playing themselves. So they came up with unique characters for the real Chip and Dale, and then, what, they just ran out of ideas? And later on, when Gadget shows up, the movie even acknowledges this, which... I mean, as long as you know, I guess. And one more thing that keeps this from greatness is the setting really doesn't work as a Chip and Dale movie. This movie takes place in a world where real people and cartoon characters, and also video game characters for some reason, live together. So why was this not a Roger Rabbit movie? Like, that would have made a lot more sense. And this is made even weirder by the fact that Roger Rabbit is in the movie. It's just a cameo, but still, the fact that he's there just is all the more baffling. Hell, even Bonkers would have been a better fit. And again, Bonkers is in the movie. Just a cameo, but he's there. But I guess Chip and Dale have better name recognition. So, what are you gonna do? Overall, the animation was fine. CG Dale looks very good. Uh, all of the hand drawn characters, which are. Definitely not really hand-drawn, it's computer simulated hand-drawn. Doesn't look quite as good as the real thing, but it's okay. And I thought they did a pretty good job of blending the animation with the real world. And they loaded this thing with cameos. Oh my god. I'm not even sure how they got the rights for some of these, because I'm pretty sure some of the characters in this movie are not owned by Disney. Like I mentioned earlier, some of the jokes did work. I did get a few laughs here and there. There's a moment where Kiki Lane's character, who is a real police detective helping Chip and Dale, uh, tries to give Dale a coded message over the phone to tell him what's going on, and Dale has no idea what she's talking about and uses this really ass-backwards logic to try to decode her message, but basically comes up with the right answer by accident. That was good, I like that. And even though the writing wasn't as solid as it could have been, I did really like the story. The idea is these cartoon characters are getting kidnapped and surgically altered into these non-copyright violating forms and forced to act in overseas bootleg movies. Like, that is a really clever idea. 
So overall, it definitely had its moments, and I liked the premise. I just... I guess I just wish it was funnier. The movie just didn't quite hit its potential, but it was on Disney+. Plus. I didn't have to pay any extra money to see it, so can't really complain. And if you have Disney+, Plus and you grew up with these characters, you might as well give it a watch. Certainly a lot of people enjoyed this movie better than I did. Maybe you will too. And that's all I have to say about Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. Till next time, take care.